Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the new Memento Mori deck from Murphy's Magic and Adrian Valenzuela. All right, so what is this Memento Mori release? Uh, you know, a while back uh, when Chris Ramsey worked for Murphy's Magic, this was his concept. Uh, this deck was drawn, it was illustrated by Adrian Valenzuela, okay? And uh, since then, Chris has left the company, but Murphy's has re-released this with a brand new look. You wanna see the trailer for it? This is it. is the most precious gift. It lets us imagine. It drives us to create. And like all precious things, it doesn't last forever. All right, so that was the trailer for Murphy's Magic. Um, and I know like right now on the ad copy, it says Memento Mori Blue. I guess that's the only way you can describe it or think about it. That's what we're calling it, but it's really not blue. I mean, people are saying, well, it's just blue. It's not just blue. It's purple, uh, it's olive, it's turquoise, and it's ice. I mean, if it looks a lot like the colors that are in the Frostbite cards from Hanson Chen. If you look at the skull across the front, uh, it's really indicative of the entire deck. It uses a low poly design that's very simple and postmodern, but this blue release, since we're calling it that, it kind of has a very Andy Warhol, almost pop art feel to it. If you're not familiar with the pop art movement, uh, it used non representative representational color and representational form to convey different sensations. So Andy Warhol used this same technique with his pictures of Marilyn Monroe. What you do is you adjust the color and then you observe how the new color affects the mood of the viewer. Uh, and I kind of think that's a good way to think about it. You know, Andy Warhol once said that life is just a series of images that change and repeat themselves. And uh, yeah. The front of the tech case is very simple and elegant. It has that low poly design of the skull that wraps around the tuck case and all of the blue, purple, olive, turquoise, uh, light blue, deep blue uh, colors. Uh, there's no really other writing on it other than at the top, it does say playing cards. Uh, underneath on the bottom, it has some ad copy from Murphy's and the tongue flap does say Memento Mori. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on the thin retail stock. They do have a modern and cut and air cushion finish. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click one of the links below in the description. A lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. They feel and handle great. In fact, uh, if you stick 10 of these into a caliper, okay, 10 of these into a caliper and measure them just to compare them against other decks, 10 of these come to 2.76. 2.76 is about the same thickness as the Dapper deck or the Roadhouse deck. These are actually a thinner, more softer stock than even the original. The back design is a two-way image of a skull with a very thin pencil frame around it. Very haunting imagery, ice cold graphics that look beautiful in both waterfalls and cascades. And I think this opens the door magically too for color changes and two deck tricks if you own the original. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. It's that low poly uh, design of Chris Ramsey's logo. Also with this deck, you'll get two gaff cards. You'll get a double backer and a blank face card, which are great for magic. Your Ace of Spades is very clean and devoid of any script. It's just a beautiful uh, large center pip with a lot of color in it. Your pips and indices and court cards will all be completely original with this deck. Um, it's gonna be familiar enough that when you look at it, of course, you'll recognize it, but uh, it's really been stripped down to this low poly kind of pop art postmodern look where uh, all the detail has been removed and what you're left with are these purples, olives, turquoise, light blues, deep uh, royal blues, and it kind of has this like um, stained glass window effect. All right, so that's my review of the blue Memento Moris from Murphy's Magic. I think they're a testimony of just how beautiful Adrian Valenzuela's artwork is, that it's held up into the second rendition. Of course, I'd like to thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase yours, you can find it wherever quality Murphy's Magic products are sold. Thanks, bye.